everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you all about the permanent Sailor Moon store in Harajuku, Japan and also the Sailor Moon store Petites, which are pop-up Sailor Moon stores in other locations in Japan. Let's start with the permanent Sailor Moon store that has been open since the fall of 2017. It is located in a department store called La Ferre in Harajuku on the B0.5 floor. Is that half a basement floor? There's some weird floors here with half floors and such. <laughs> to better explain, when you walk into the building, you go down a very short stair set. It's just a short walk from here, turn a corner, and you're there. The store is split into two small adjacent shops. There's a pink side which sells the bulk of the items, and then there's the blue side which focuses on fashion items like clothing and jewelry. Oh, and this side has a fitting room too. I've never been in it yet, so if you've been inside it, let me know what it looks like in there. Leave a comment down below if you've been in. Outside of the blue side are Gashapon machines that have the most current Sailor Moon Gashapon. There's also a big window display around the corner of the blue side that changes throughout the year to reflect current stock and trends. Back to the pink side, you can buy officially licensed Sailor Moon goods exclusive to the store and more, like the popular Otedama plush. The stock changes regularly depending on what's currently available throughout the year. These photos were taken at the end of November 2022, so stock has changed since these photos. If you ever go, don't forget to ask for a point card if you purchase anything. It's free and a neat souvenir. Once you get 20 stamps, you'll get a gift. Now that you know all about the permanent Sailor Moon store in the Tokyo area, let's talk about some of the non-permanent or pop-up locations of the Sailor Moon store called the Sailor Moon Store Petite. These petite versions of the Sailor Moon store began just a few years ago and several locations have been popping up since then. I had the opportunity to check two petite locations for the first time in November 2022. Let's begin in Kobe, Japan. <laughs> That's right, the place famous for Kobe beef. First, you gotta head to this building in Harborland Kobe, which is a popular shopping and entertainment district. Once inside, locate Kitty Land, a famous character shop in Japan. This is where one of the Sailor Moon store petites are located. There's an Usagi standee outside of this Kitty Land, letting you know you're in the right place. And once you're inside, you'll find Chibiusa close to the Sailor Moon store goods. As I said, this was my very first time at a petite location and I was pleasantly surprised at the stock. I found older items and items sold out at the actual Sailor Moon store. It was nice to have chances to buy items that were not in stock anymore. The decor was cute too, very Sailor Moon store-like, and all the Sailor Moon items were in this small area. You wouldn't find any other Sailor Moon items throughout Kitty Land at this particular location. See what I mean about items not stocked at the actual Sailor Moon store? Seriously, I was surprised I didn't see the exact same stock as the La Ferre location. Very refreshing. I know some of you haven't been to Japan yet, but I really hope a lot of you can come out here someday. It's truly a paradise for Sailor Moon fans. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm constantly making videos, and if you enjoy this one, more like it are on my channel now. I really love these clear posters and clear files based on the same art. Aren't they gorgeous? They had every single Sailor Guardian in stock here. Lucky! Don't forget to leave a comment below on what you think of the items and stock that you've seen in these clips. I'm really curious to know your thoughts on the items. They had this fantastic area, almost the entire wall, full of plush. I came to Japan with only one full-size luggage and a duffel and a backpack, so you will have to imagine how hard it was for me to say no to a lot of these goods that were available right in front of my eyes. I wanted to take home so much of this, but really had to say no due to I had no way really to take them back to the United States. The jewelry section was pretty nice and they had a lot of cute keychains and just little items and trinkets to show your love for the series. 
Mako would be proud of her cake. I really love the design of Usagi with the Sailor Moon store shopping bag. I ended up getting the sticker and a magnet of this design. Flat items like these are much easier to bring back in your luggage. The clothing items at this petite location were actually pretty minimal. There wasn't a lot of sizes in stock, unfortunately, because I did want that zip up hoodie. Well, that's about it to show you from the Kobe petite location. Let's go ahead and move on to the petite location in Osaka. Osaka is about two and a half hours away by a Shinkansen bullet train, depending on what station you leave from. This one is located inside the Shinsaibashi Parko building inside another Kitty Land shop on the sixth floor. This petite location was my favorite as it really seemed like a mini Sailor Moon store inside another store. The Sailor Moon items were only in this cube, if you will. What I love about visiting each Sailor Moon store in Japan, petite or permanent, was all the merchandise differed just a bit at each location. I was able to buy items not available at other locations here, so if you have the time and funds to travel to these, it's worth it for the merchandise selection and experiencing other parts of Japan. Whenever I post photos and videos on my socials about my outings in Japan, I get recurring comments about my bank would be in trouble if I was there and the like. You can just imagine how hard it would be to not spend some dough here. The Osaka location had a great stock of jewelry and watches and even the brand new Eternal Sailor Moon Figure Arts Mini that just launched when I was in Japan. Turning the corner, there's one of my favorite artworks of Usagi as a standee. On this side, we have a lot of fashion items and clothing. A couple of the items I didn't see yet in person on this trip, like this Sailor Star Yell Mirror. I regret not grabbing this. And then this cute lollipop Sailor Guardian brush. Just a few clothing items here. I did see some new items that I hadn't seen at the last petite location, like these dresses. Ah, this side was fun. A lot of the items on this side were definitely not at the other locations on this trip. Let me show you some. Seeing these pens in person was awesome. I'll show you up close of some of the ones that they still had available. And aren't those display cases awesome? I really wish I could have taken one of those home. They also had a few of the schedule books still available. I liked that they had a display for each design available to flip through so you could make a decision on which one to get. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And before you go, remember the Sailor Moon store in Tokyo is permanent, so you should always be able to go to that one as long as it remains open. The petite locations shown in this video are not permanent and could be gone in the future. Always be sure and check online to see what is still open before getting your hopes up when visiting Japan. My DMs are always open on Instagram or you can email me with any questions you may have. I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed yet, and I will see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.